One of the terms most often entered into Google when looking for phones of the type that you see here are um, phones for the elderly. Uh, of course, that can often mean that people are looking for a variety of different features and benefits that these phones can provide. And so I thought it might be helpful um, to talk about some of the phones and uh, range of phones and styles of phones that we have here at Hearing Direct, um, with a particular view to providing them for um, somebody uh, who I would say certainly from sort of mid 80s uh, onwards um, in terms of defining the, the, the phones for the elderly. Um, anything under the age of sort of uh, 85 I guess uh, we have a, a, a big and broad range of phones that might well suit but I've chosen three models here that I think are particularly good for uh, those with the, the typical challenges, if you like, of, of, of growing old um, and probably in the sort of 85 plus category. So taking them individually, um, this is a, a phone for the home, uh, it's a desk phone, uh, it requires plugging into the uh, mains power and also into the telephone socket. This one is called the AmpliPower 50 from GMark. Uh, we actually have several uh, phones that look very much the same in terms of the shell or the carcass. Um, I've chosen this one because it is actually our loudest uh, desk phone that we do. Um, but we do have ones that aren't quite so, so high in volume but that have a lot of similar features. Um, typically those that are uh, mature in years are going to have similar uh, parallel uh, challenges. Uh, some of them are going to be hearing related, some of them are going to be dexterity related, uh, and some of them are going to be uh, related to vision. So the phones that I've chosen here are designed to hopefully help with all three of those issues uh, at the same time. So if we take this desk phone as I was talking about, uh, several features here I would draw attention to. Um, the tone and volume control for this phone can be set by moving these sliders. Uh, and once set they don't revert back to type therefore they can stay left at the desirable position. The numbers clearly are very much larger and you'll note they are white numbers on a dark background and those are very important factors with regards to uh, improving um, the visual aspect of being able to see the numbers and being able to use the dialing facilities. Another benefit here, you see these coloured buttons up here. These are speed dials and they can be pre-programmed with uh, friends or family or relatives, whoever that they may need to call most often. And uh, in the case of, a, of, a, of some kind of an emergency, it's great to have a set of numbers here that are already pre-programmed. You simply just lift the receiver and dial the number. One of the other benefits of this phone with regards to being specifically good for, for those uh, sort of 85 plus, is I was talking about dexterity. Well this handset as you see here is actually a much easier to grip handset than for example you might find on some of the more traditional desk phones that are available out there uh, through the normal distributors. Um, it is a very traditional design, it's very easy to grip and it's very difficult to drop even if you haven't got great strength in your hands. Um, and it's also very easy to relocate within the unit, so it won't move around, it's very easy to, to, to replace. And I certainly would steer people, anybody, in the direction of a, a phone that needed, needed for all of the issues with regards to visual, dexter, visual uh, limitations, dexterity and volume. This by far and away is the best option of all phones in my opinion, not just this model but this type of phone as opposed to the cordless phone that you see here or indeed the mobile phone that you see here. But there are some people and there are some circumstances that might need a cordless phone or a mobile phone, possibly even in, in addition to a, to a desk phone. But my first piece of advice would be if you're looking to try and get the phone for somebody over the age of 85, I would definitely steer or encourage you in this direction to go with this type of phone uh, ahead of a cordless phone. 
Uh, I'll explain why. I do think this is probably one of the best cordless phones we do if you are going to go down the, the route of a cordless phone for the elderly. Um, the reason I like this is that it's our simplest to use. It's a big button. Again, it has this dark background with the white text on it. Uh, it isn't packed with a load of features that, 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 that are unnecessary and therefore makes a good uh, option. It's called the Big Tail 200 from Amplicoms and as I said I think it makes a good option for a cordless phone if it is to be used as a cordless uh, as a solution. Uh, the reason I caution against cordless phones full stop although this is the best of the bunch for the circumstances you will see that for example on the side of the phone you have got the volume control for up and down. It is also typically located very close to where one might hold the phone for use in terms of conversation. And again, if you have dexterity challenges or, or you're struggling to hold or grip the phone, it's very easy to use these keys in, 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 uh, by mistake or, or an accident. The other thing is that it is, it is uh, one single width all the way up and down, unlike the receiver here, and therefore gripping or holding this requires more dexterity. Um, and as I said, in general, the buttons are, are smaller because they are part of the phone. So it has a lot of the same features. It's got the speed dials up here. It does have volume control. Uh, it does have bigger buttons than a normal cordless phone. But in general, I would caution against getting a cordless phone, particularly for the sort of over 85 market. But if you do decide that that might be an appropriate solution, I would definitely recommend the Bigtel 200. Finally, just moving on to the mobile phone, uh, this might seem a strange thing for, for somebody to buy for, or indeed buy for themselves, or buy for somebody who is uh, uh, over 85, um, primarily because mobile technology is not particularly well uh, looked upon by um, people of, of, of that age. That said, um, actually there's some great reasons and great advantages to having a mobile phone. Um, one of the main reasons is that depending on where they, the person concerned is living, um, particularly if they're living in, a, in a, some form of assisted living environment or indeed in a, in a nursing home of some sort, uh, then this, the idea of a mobile phone is great because uh, you don't have to worry about whether or not they've got their own phone line in, which either one of these two would require. It's simply a case of putting any SIM card of any uh, um, major operator, T-Mobile, Vodafone, Orange, etc, etc, O2, um, any of their SIM cards will work in this phone and you don't have to have a contract, they can just be uh, uh, prepaid and in fact most of the time they can just receive calls. But they're a great way of staying in touch with somebody that, that, that perhaps struggles to uh, find the right environment for either one of the two of these. And also if the, if the person concerned is, is actually still relatively mobile and out and about and moving, moving in, you know, independently, uh, shopping or, or whatever they may be doing, it is also a great thing to have because these sorts of phones um, are, are a way of immediately contacting someone if there are any problems. In this case, this particular phone has an SOS feature so that when that's enabled, um, which it can be left permanently enabled, um, it can then mean that it will, it will then result rather in, in uh, a pre-programmed set of numbers being dialed by the phone uh, until a human response is obtained. Um, so there are some good features and some good advantages to, to having a mobile phone full stop and in the case of this particular model this actually is the M6500 from uh, Amplicoms or the Powertel M6500. Um, actually, I would recommend the, the model below this, the M6200, uh, purely in terms of its simplicity and price. Um, however, this is a good option too, in the sense that it does have greater levels of amplification. And if volume on the mobile phone is required, this is a great one to go for. It's much louder than any of the other uh, uh, traditional mobile phones that you might find in, in a standard high street shop. Uh, so I would definitely consider uh, this type of mobile phone with amplification again with the dark background and the, and the light numbers making it easy to distinguish and a simple uh, answer and end call facility. Um, and this one, <coughs> the M6200 and the M6900, sorry M6500, uh, both of them have uh, uh, good levels of technology. Uh, the M6500 is, is superior and does have a lot more features. 
um, but also has the volume. But if you're looking for a really simple, very basic, easy to use mobile, then the M6200 from Amplicoms is a good phone to go for if you don't need particularly loud volumes. So that gives you a, a good uh, idea of the sorts of phones that are available from Hearing Direct, uh, particularly for the elderly. Um, however, I would absolutely advise calling one of our uh, great customer services team. Uh, they're available nine to five, five days a week on 0800 032 1301. Um, or you can email us out of hours in the evening and weekends at customer services at hearingdirect.com. We normally respond within 24 hours. Um, we'd be happy to provide further advice if, if you would look for a, a phone for an elderly friend or relative or indeed if you're looking for one for yourself. We'll happily provide a, a whole raft of advice and, and more detail on the range that's available from Hearing Direct.